Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another mod update video talking about the stuff I've been working on for the past week and just like last week there's actually a good bit of stuff to show. Three new weapons completed for the attachment pack as well as some updates on some of my side projects like the 22 pack. Now, just in case you're new around here and don't quite understand what's going on because I do see some questions in the comments, the attachment pack is a work in progress mod that is not out yet that aims to overhaul every single vanilla weapon in the base game by adding tons of new customization options and helping fill in some of the gaps left by Bethesda and also allowing you to get a little bit more damage and performance out of some of the early game weapons so that they perform better in the late game. Last week we checked out the radium rifle as well as a handful of heavy weapons and now this week we're going to be talking about the pipe guns. We've completed not only the regular pipe gun but also the pipe revolver and pipe bolt action rifle and it was my goal to make those weapons feel a little bit more unique and fill their niche roles so they're not going to be sharing a ton of attachments. There are a few crossovers don't get me wrong but they have a ton of attachments that are unique to each weapons platform so the pipe rifle is going to lean into the SMG and LMG sort of parts, as well as assault rifle parts, whereas the bolt action is going to lean into more sniper based parts, not only in looks, but performance as well. And the revolver, I just had a lot of fun with because I think that is definitely one of the best out of the vanilla pipe weapons, and it was very easy to come up with some really cool Western inspired attachments that I think fit really, really well. When it came to designing the attachments for the pipe weapons, unlike the weapons in the rest of the pack, I wanted to take more of a handmade approach to fit their aesthetic and I also reused a lot of pipe assets that way it matches the same palette because they have a completely different metal than anything else in the game. There are some other parts that are going to use custom textures or maybe come from other weapons but I think that fits the kit bashy nature of these guns and it honestly adds not only to the believability but also the wide range of colors that you can find on these weapons which I think looks pretty cool in a post-apocalyptic setting. Now, this isn't going to be a one-stop shop fix for the pipe guns. This is merely going to add a ton of new attachments to them. If you're looking for something to actually fix those god-awful receivers, I'm going to be working on something like that sometime in the distant future. For now, there are some replacers out there, though I don't know how compatible they will be with this pack. That being said, when I do get around to fixing these receivers, they will be fully compatible with the pack and will offer a completely new design for each of the pipe weapons, which I think will help them out a lot. Now you should have seen a good bit of footage of these attachments on screen, but let's go ahead and jump over to a weapons workbench and look at them all individually and talk a bit about each one. Now then, let's go ahead and start with the pipe revolver pistol, as it is definitely one of my favorite in this pack, and I'm really excited to show off what we have done to this thing. Starting off with the receiver section, yes, we do actually have new receivers for this one for once. If we head all the way down to the bottom, you'll find a brand new 38 8 shot receiver, a mesh that Pig found down in the game files that allows you to up the capacity of this weapon from 6 to 8, adding a little bit more versatility to the 38 rechamber. We also have one other rechamber, which is a shotgun gun receiver. This is going to allow you to cram five shotgun shells into this weapon, which is definitely a nice change up for this thing, adding a new close range option as opposed to the typical 308 rechamber. Speaking of the 308 rechamber, eventually we will be remeshing this thing to have a proper receiver that fits that round, as right now it's holding 45s and that's just a little goofy. Especially when the 45s aren't even the right size. I'm not going to sit here and complain about pipe guns. We'll be here all day. Anyways, moving on to the barrel section, we have some fun new stuff. It's going to be all the way past all of the vanilla stuff. You'll find the newly added vented barrel, which adds some really cool parts. The nice cheese grater covering here with some tape and bolts. Again, leaning into that handmade scrappy aesthetic. We also have a suppressed barrel, which uh, if it loads here, has a nice wood foregrip. And as you can see, more gubbins clamping this thing all together to make it as stable as possible for a pipe gun. Then we have the Outlaw Barrel, inspired from an old Remington single action. This thing is very, very cool. Again, obviously made out of handmade parts, just leaning into that sort of profile, and I think it looks quite nice. We also have the Gunslinger Barrel. This is leaning more into rifle parts. This adds some nicer wood furniture, along with some of the handmade parts, and a big copper syringer barrel. And then, of course, a Marksman Barrel to really lean into the amount of range you can add to this weapon. Weapon. And the barrel on this thing is quite long. If you didn't know, these handmade weapons are pretty oversized and huge in the player's hands, so these barrels are 
quite lengthy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show off this Gunslinger barrel here in a second with its matching stock because I think that's a really, really cool combination. But first, let's talk about the rest of the grips. If we head down to the bottom, we have the newly added Heavy Grip, which has a nice sort of set of wood furniture and a knuckle guard that I think looks pretty cool. It's quite an interesting profile. We have the Quick Draw Grip, which is going to be another pistol-style grip that adds some western-y parts taken from the flare gun and a new trigger guard that looks pretty cool. And then we have some new stocks, including a wire stock, which honestly looks pretty nice on this weapon. I'm kind of happy with how that came out. We also have the gunslinger stock, which is the wood stock I was talking about earlier. This is going to give you a nice reload speed bonus as you have some extra rounds here on the comb of the weapon. And then finally, we have the sniper stock. So you can put this on with a scope and that marksman barrel. And that's going to give you some major benefits to ranged shooting. Now, let's go ahead and throw on that gunslinger stock as well as the gunslinger barrel because I think together they look fantastic. This is a cool new way to rock a pipe revolver, in my opinion. Now, we do have one more section, and that is the muzzles. We have not added any new scopes in this pack. In the muzzles, we have now the Advanced Compensator, which is going to be a little bit better than the regular old Compensator. As you can see, it has a taped-on lever action uh, Compensator there from Far Harbor. And then we also have an Advanced Muzzle Break, one of the assets we made that we have uh, retrofitted to fit the pipe weapons. And I think that looks really cool, especially with the long barrels. And then finally, we also have an Advanced Suppressor. So now you don't have to just use that scrappy handmade suppressor. There is a real one that you can apply to these weapons as well, but it still looks pretty dang cool. Now then, let's move on to the bolt action and see what it has to offer. No new receivers for this one or for the regular pipe gun, because again, we will be doing that in the rematch project, but we do have new stuff in the other categories. In the barrels, if we move on down, you will find another vented barrel. That one is shared across all of the weapons, but then we have a new suppressed barrel that is going to have a different mesh from the one on the pipe revolver. And then the rest of these are unique to the pipe bolt action. The heavy long barrel is made out of a lead pipe and really helps to extend the range on this thing since it is the sniper option of these three weapons then we also have the marksman barrel which is going to add another nice long barrel that's been wrapped and has a bipod mounted here as well and before you say anything yes i know you don't want to add bipods to barrels it's a pipe gun and it's fallout it's funny and it's something raiders would definitely do so i'm gonna keep it that way now then, we also have some new grips and stocks. Actually, I believe it's mostly stocks for this one, since it is, again, a sniper option. We have the newly added light stock, which is a bit of a contrast with the polymer look. Let me know if you think it would look better in wood, because I do have a wood texture option for this thing. It would just add a little bit of file size to the project, but that's not a huge deal. We also have a full stock, which has been taken from that hunting rifle stock that we made before, with some new gubbins and bits to help actually affix it to the weapon. We have a skeletal stock. This one was a lot of fun. It has the most pieces out of any of the stocks, but I think it looks really, really cool. Making use of a lot of pipe gun parts, as well as some custom parts we've made, and even the Chinese assault rifle stock, which I think looks really cool mounted onto the end there. We then have the comfort stock. Something actually made by Mikolov is this little attachment point here to the short hunting rifle stock. And altogether, I think it makes for a pretty cool pipe rifle aesthetic. And then finally, we have the Sniper Stock. Actually, this is another one of my favorites in this pack as well. I think it fits the profile of this weapon very, very well, and altogether looks like a super neat pipe gun. And then all that leaves for this is the muzzles, which are actually the same as the pipe revolver. Those are the only ones that are 100% shared across all weapons, is the different advanced muzzle devices that we have added. And that finally, that leaves the regular old pipe pistol, but I'm going to start on the grips on this one because I want to get a stock on here before we check out some of the different barrels. Moving on, we have a newly added shovel stock, something that totally should have been in here in the first place, especially since we saw it on the Nuka World AK. The shovel stock with a screwdriver handle, something very fitting of the pipe gun in my opinion. We also have a folding stock, which I think looks really, really cool on this weapon. Borrowed from the combat rifle parts we made, this thing fits really nice on here with some new junky attachment points. I think it looks super, super cool. Then we have a reinforced stock made out of handmade assault rifle pieces. As you can see, that's not the typical way you'd mount a grip to a stock, but I think it's very fitting for the pipe guns. And the overall design I'm very, very happy with, especially with G-Moy's retexture that adds those pieces in red. Looks super cool. 
After that, we have the heavy stock, which is going to be more for your LMG sort of setup. We have an RPK stock with a shovel handle as the grip, and it looks really, really neat. I think that's a cool profile for this gun, especially when you throw on a drum mag and some of the heavier barrel options. And then finally, a tactical stock. Something goofy I wanted to add was some of the more modern-ish parts available in the vanilla sandbox, but just kind of kit bashing them with this weapon, and I'm honestly not too upset about how this looks. It's not the worst thing I've seen on a pipe gun. Let's go ahead and throw on this heavy stock and talk about some of the new barrels we've added. Moving on down, the first of the new barrels is of course that vented barrel that we saw on all of the other pipe guns, if it will load here for me, there we go. And then also that suppressed barrel that we saw on the bolt action. But new to this weapon is the wrapped barrel, which I think looks really cool with some leather wrapping around it and a bit of a heavier design, sort of inspired by a Sten gun. And then the heavy barrel, meant to be used with a stock and with the drum mag. This is your LMG variant. As you can see, it's got an extended barrel with a carry handle, a heat shield, Shield and a bipod and that's quite an interesting profile for the pipe gun especially if we go over to the magazine section and throw on the drum mag that's a pipe lmg and i'm not even upset about it that's pretty dang cool now i'm gonna go ahead and beat you to it before you decide to comment about it obviously no set of attachments is going to completely save the pipe guns but we'll be working on something to hopefully address that in the future at the very least if you download this and you're not using any remeshes this will add some more options to the pipe gun that adds to their performance in game and allows you to use them just a little bit longer before you need to switch out to something better and in my opinion some of these options actually do improve the aesthetic quite a bit at least as far as the bolt action and the revolver are concerned the regular pipe gun i think is is, uh, it's struggling a little bit. Now, I know this video is already getting pretty long, but I've got a lot more to talk about, so sit tight if that's something you're interested in. Let's talk about the 22 pack. Last time around, we talked about the new 22 pistol added to the 22 pack. For those unaware, the 22 pack is going to be a pack of five guns, all chambered in 22 caliber. We already had a machine pistol, and now we have a new regular semi automatic pistol in the pack. You did get to see it just briefly last episode, but now we're going to go into it a little bit more in depth. But on top of that, not only do we have a new 22 pistol, we have a new 22 auto revolver, thanks to the wonderful J. Cruz 05, who has decided to help us out with this pack and donate an entirely new weapon to it which i think is absolutely phenomenal now for the sake of time let's go ahead and jump straight into the 22 pistol over at the weapons workbench because we have pretty much all of the attachments implemented the only thing we haven't done is the receivers but there's no visual changes there those are just stats so that'll get added a little bit later after this video but first, let's talk about the very large amount of barrel options that we have, including the regular standard Ruger Mark I barrel. We have different lengths for this, including a short option and, of course, a long option that is quite long. And there's even a snub option, which is uh, quite a funny one that removes the front sights and gives you uh, pretty much no barrel to work with, but it does technically work and you can still attach muzzles to it which i think is pretty funny uh after the ruger mark one barrels we have the classic suppressed barrel inspired from the new vegas design there are obviously barrels like this for the ruger but i wanted to make sure to add those classic iron sights too so you could get a little bit of that nostalgia back with this weapon and then we also have a set of fluted barrels in short medium and long and these guys come with their own custom iron sights that are a little bit more advanced than the other barrels which i think is pretty neat and then at the very end of these is the heavy barrel which does look a tad bit goofy but i think it's pretty cool this is actually based on some real aftermarket parts that i've seen available for the mark one so i thought it would be a fun addition to add into this pack now we also have a grip section where you can throw on a standard wood grip or a light a plastic grip to add again that classic black look from fallout new vegas though there will be more grip sections when this actually comes out in full release we have one more grip i want to work on but it's a little bit complicated so i haven't made it just quite yet but it will be in the pack upon final release and then we do have mag sections with a standard and extended mag, and then we'll probably add quick eject versions of those as well. I just wanted to make sure everything was implemented that was a visual change to show you guys here in the video. We do have muzzle devices, including, of course, no muzzle, a new compensator, a muzzle brake that I'm a very, very big fan of, a makeshift suppressor so that you do have an early suppressor option that doesn't 
require ton of perks or parts and this is obviously made out of a nuka cola can which i think was a lot of fun to model and texture i'm really really happy with how this thing came out and then there is a regular suppressor that you can throw on as well which also has a pretty nice design i tried to make it a little bit more unique than your typical big cylinder but uh Still, it's just a pretty typical suppressor. And then at the very end, we also have an option to throw on a different finish. We have the silver finish and a black finish. And what's really cool is all of the parts that are metal will be affected by the black finish. So if we go back up here to, say, that suppressor, it's also affected by the recolor. So that's pretty cool. But as promised, there is one more gun we need to talk about, and that is the 22 Auto Revolver Pistol by J. Cruz as part of this pack. This thing is very, very cool. This is a revolver that is only available in full auto, which is a, a pretty interesting one, and it even comes with some custom tweaked animations for it. So we'll show those off after the attachment section here. Starting off the receiver section, these are your pretty standard set of receivers, but they have visual changes that actually make the weapon look different. As you can see, there's a big hunk of metal on this one that's not there on the other and then on the rapid one there's actually less parts for a lighter frame and they're all different depending on which one of these you choose which is pretty cool then for the barrel section we have the short long and heavy barrel offering some interesting brass coloring to make this weapon very unique then for the grip section we have the standard grip which is going to be a stripped down version made out of metal a comfort grip made of wood, and then also a sharpshooter's grip, which is a little bit more of a refined grip. Then for the sight section, we have a set of iron sights, a laser sight, a reflex sight, a magnified reflex sight, which will add a little bit more zoom, and then a full-on scope for this weapon that I think looks really cool, especially how it's canted to the side there. And then for the muzzle section, we have the option to throw on a bayonet, which is pretty interesting, a compensator, and a muzzle brake. Pretty simple revolver, but it is a very interesting one, especially with that full auto function, which we'll go ahead and show off right now. So here we are with the auto revolver, and because this thing is chambered in 22, it actually holds way more rounds than your typical revolver, offering a capacity of 12. And again, this thing is full auto. Now, obviously, this is a fictional weapon, so don't ask me how it works, because honestly, I have no idea, but it's really cool. And when you fire this thing, the weapon does spin. Which is, uh, it's a lot of fun. This thing's super neat. The whole reason this thing exists is because Pig found an interesting quirk with the revolver animations when he said it's a full auto, and, uh, we made a weapon around it. So thanks to Jay Cruz for adding this to the pack. This is a really, really cool addition. But yeah, that wraps up most of the things we've been working on this week. We've been having some really good motivation lately and a good workflow. We've been getting tons of stuff done. Again, three weapons completed for the pack, as well as some cool side project stuff, including two new standalone weapons in the 22 pack. Now, the 22 pack is a pack of five weapons and three of them are done, which means we've only got two to go and they're going to add two new 22 rifles so stay tuned for that we'll have information sometime in the next few weeks i'm not sure what we're going to work on next but those will definitely be seen here on the channel sometime in the near future as for the attachment pack we are on the home stretch there's only a handful of guns to go so hopefully we'll have some information about release dates sometime very soon as well as an estimate of how big this file size is actually going to be so Stay tuned for that stuff. There's a lot of really, really fun and exciting things coming in the future. It's been quite a long video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And big thanks to anybody who made it this far. Let me know if you did down in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a rating. It really helps out the channel. And consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. Every Wednesday, we talk about the mods I've been working on. And every Saturday, we do a Mods Weekly to showcase some of the really cool stuff going on in the community. Thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, a big shout-out to all of my patrons for supporting every single video. And of course, a big shout-out to Jeremy Briggs, Backbone, Chara, Danny, Freedom, Glasma, Damien, Indecisive Wolf, Logan, Rigmaiden, Lord Toast, Microhan, Oscar, Scott, Sterling, Timmy76, YouthRC, and Voider for joining that Tier 3 Patreon membership. If you'd like to support the channel over on Patreon, you can do so using the link down in the description, but it is completely optional. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.